Hello, um, I made this video for, um, for Black Range 100. It's, um, they asked me to make a video about, like, the alphabet and everything. So, instead of making, like, a huge video, because there's many videos about, like, um, how to pronounce it and everything, I'm gonna make that maybe this Friday, because since, obviously, oh, my head looks really big, obviously since, um, I'm, like, American, and I, Korean was my first language, I have, like, kind of strange accent when I say, so, um, I'm gonna do it Friday because maybe my boyfriend can help me with that, because he was actually born and raised in Korea, and, um, so this video is gonna be kind of choppy because I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm just kinda, I guess, gonna explain how to read Korean. I think I'm gonna try to do that, so... Um, anyway, I down or I made worksheets for you guys. There, there's one about vowels, one about consonants, and one for just practice worksheets so you can write. So hopefully you use those. I'll put the link to um, my media, whatever it's called, media sh share. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a link to it, and then you can download it and have fun. Okay, this is gonna be hard for me to explain, but I'm gonna try my best. So please listen carefully. I hopefully I can explain it well. Um, so for a structure, um, you always start out with consonant or the silent letter. The silent letter is young, okay? That's silent letter. And then you need that um, if you put like a vowel or something like ah to make a noise. Um, anyway, so it starts with the consonant, and then you can put a vowel either underneath it or to the right of it. Don't put it to the left. No, don't put there. Either beneath it or to the right of it. And then if you need to add more letters, um, then you could put like consonants below the vowels. Okay? And if that makes sense, I'll, I'll show you. Um, a good example is quenchanta. Okay. Quen chan. Okay, so here's a vowel, uh, I mean, no, sorry, consonant, <laughs> a vowel, vowel, consonant, and then here's consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, and then consonant, vowel. That's probably the best example I can give you. And next I'm going to show you... Um, how the sound changes with different letters and all this stuff. So hold on. So now I'm going to explain some sound changes that um, many foreigners get confused by or they mispronounce because it's just something you don't think about. So, um, for example, this verb means to be many. And um, because it has an H sound at the bottom, it makes this sound this D sound right here makes it turn into a T sound. You would think that it would be just manda, but that's not right. It's manta, because this H makes this a hard sound. So it sounds kind of like this, but it's not. And um, same with this verb, it means to put on top or be on top of something. So um, you yeah, to put down on top of something. And um, it's pronounced nota, not noda. That's nota because this H sound makes this into like a T sound. Um, and another example, um, this is not, okay, okay, this is M, A, then an S sound, but it's not pronounced mas. No, 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 no. Um, because when Koreans talk, they or um, they kind of stop their voice, so it makes this turn into mat. It comes into a, a T sound because instead of um, keep going like mas, like how English speakers would say, they just like cut it off. So it's mat. But if you put um, if you want to open it up, then you put like mash e because since you keep on moving. Oh, it's hard to explain, but if you, when you keep on moving, then it opens up the sound. So it's either 
mat or mash e. This is like the particle. Um, another um, verb that can be mispronounced is opta. Opta. Okay, you'd think it's opsta, but no, that's not right either. Um, because also they close the sound for this. So opta. Um, it's like an a, and then b sound, s sound, and then da. But when you um, conjugate this into, for example, present tense, which would be opsaya, um, it opens up. So opsaya. Because um, now that there's another vowel next to it, then you can complete the sound. So I hope that helps. And my next video should be um, about all the alphabet, if I can. So pray for me. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.